Hello everyone, this is Blood Queen Tarot and I am here to do a reading for the sign of Aries. Aries, this is your monthly reading for February 2021. <clears throat> Aries, I just want to say, please keep in mind that um, timing is fluid. So, timing and energy, it does what it want to do and it do what it do. So, keep, please keep in mind that the reading or any, any tarot reading, the reading may or may not manifest and play out for you during the time frame specified, which is February. Since timing is fluid, <clears throat> this can play out later on down the line in time. This can play out in March. This can play out or it can play out in February. It can play out in March or some people it might play out in April. Or somewhere later down the line in time. Also, please keep in mind that this may or may not resonate with you. If it do, great. If not, that's fine too. Um, even if it resonates with you. Sometimes, even if it sounds like it resonates, this reading still may or may not be for you. So, um, just keep that in mind. I also, I want to let y'all know that you might have two videos. I'm going to try to speed it up so it can just be one video. I'm going to try to go as fast as I can. Um, So, yeah, y'all might have two videos. Um, So, I'm going to go ahead and jump right in for time's sake. <clears throat> um, Aries, I got you. I put y'all Oracle from Nature Spirit, Oracle Deck. And the card y'all got was Sweat Lodge. So this is your oracle for February, and this is crowning your energy for February. And <clears throat> I put y'all a, a, a inspirational crystal, and the crystal y'all got Aries for is, um, forgive me for pronouncing it wrong, but it say terminalionated tum quartz, terminalionated quartz, something like that. And this say get out of your own way. So this is your this is your crystal for the month of February. And I'm gonna go ahead and jump right into the reading. And now get up there and um to the top and explain your crystal and your oracle card when I'm done. But Aries right off the bat. <laughs> I was looking at y'all cards and it kind of made me laugh. Um, but I'm going to go ahead. Y'all first card out was this four wands. This is your energy, Aries. This is fire energy. These are wands. This four wands is, could be a marriage. This four wands could be someone's, um, home, like your housing situation. This four wands could be a job, like an establishment. <clears throat> you could be established at your job. Marriage, home, housing, or work for wives <clears throat> this is after tarot so this is showing me that you guys have a firm foundation somewhere or and y'all just picking up and leaving and going somewhere else because this after tarot so it's like you set the foundation and then y'all just y'all had a celebration or this could be something like a marriage taking place. There's a marriage and then everybody getting in their car, whatever, and they going to the reception. Something like that. Because then after tarot, it shows the people leaving. In traditional tarot, it shows them under this um, four wands. But in after tarot, someone is leaving this four wands. But I laugh because <clears throat> Aries is <laughs> looking like either... In this four wands, either someone, or it could be all scenarios that I picked up. Someone, Aries, you could be going to visit friends or family, maybe going out of town. I don't know you or somebody else could be getting married, some type of celebration. If it's not married, if it's not marriage, you could be um, attending some form of celebration. But I'm picking up someone could be possibly going to visit someone out of town or out of state. If this is not some somebody visiting someone for a celebration, <laughs> Aries, you could be picking up and just leaving an establishment. Whether this is you, 
you set your roots in one place, a job, a marriage, or some type of housing. But this is possibly you, Aries, you just going to pick up and you leaving. Like, you leaving this foundation and you going off somewhere else. So, I don't know if it's work. I don't know if it's love, a marriage, or like a housing situation. And I just laugh because it's like, I'm getting a vibe, Aries, that um, you just going to leave. You're going to pick up and leave. <laughs> and you happy about it. <laughs> Yep, I'm picking up somebody, Aries, this is your energy, this fire. You going to pick up and you just going to leave this establishment. <laughs> um, Well, clarify that four of wands was this four of pentacles. So this is earth energy. This is Capricorn towards Virgo. Aries, I don't know, you could have earth in your chart or you're dealing with the, with the earth sign. Because at the bottom right here, this is the only uh card with fire energy. The rest of the cards down here is pinnacles. So, Aries, you could be dealing with an earth sign. Or you have this earth in your chart. Or you, you're getting in this earthly element. Because there's a lot of pentacles down here with this four wands. And i explain it more when I get there. But this is earth energy, Virgo towards Capricorn. And this is either someone holding back. Like, this is someone trying to hold back and hold on. So their savings, their finances, their resources. Someone could be holding something, holding back, holding something close to their chest, like secrets. Or this could be somebody saving money. Saving money. Saving money or holding on to their resources, finances. Or this could be somebody keeping secrets. Four pentacles. So I don't know, Aries, if this is telling me you're just... Keeping it to yourself about this move. I'm on. Um, excuse me. Yeah. So either this is telling me that this move you're going to make, whether you leaving your job, you could be leaving a spouse or leaving some type of housing situation. Whether this is you leaving an establishment. And going off somewhere else new, or you going to visit friends or family out of town or out of state. You just going to pick up for whatever reason and you leave it and it look like um, you could be saving money to do this. But you also could be keeping it to yourself for pentacles. Like you not telling nobody what you doing, why you doing it, you just going to do it. That's what I'm getting from this. When I ask for more information about this four of wands, this two of pentacles in reverse came out. And this is when it got a little funny to me. Like, it made me laugh because what clarified this two of wands in reverse was the seven of pentacles. I mean, what clarified the two of pentacles in reverse was the seven of pentacles. So, this is earth energy too. So, I don't know. Because this could also be telling me too, Aries, if you're dealing with an earth sign, if you're dealing with an earth sign, then this earth sign right here could be trying to stop you from doing this. Because it's like this person right here is like blocking these people from leaving. So I don't know if you want to do something, make some type of change, and it's an earth sign trying to stand in your way. This could be someone trying to hold on to you. And they don't want you to leave or make that change. If this is not an earth sign trying to stop you from changing or relocating, whether it's permanently or you just going on some type of trip. If this four pentacles is not a different person, Aries, this is you just saving your money or you keeping it a secret and you just going to leave. You going somewhere else. But anyway, this two of pentacles, like I said, this would make me laugh because this two of pentacles in reverse is someone who is off balance. This is somebody who could possibly have their priorities off. Their priorities is just off. Somebody's disorganized. Um, yeah, somebody just off balance, not prioritizing properly. And this is not the part that too much made me laugh, but what really made me laugh was the seven of pentacles. 
Now, this Aries, if this is you in this earth energy, this is you. You're contemplating. Because I'm getting a, a bit of impatience. You want to make this move. You want to change jobs. You want to move. You want to lead this person. You want to lead this establishment. You want to lead this marriage. You, it's an inch, a pinch of impatience. But Aries, I think this is you and this earth energy. Don't have to be. But if this is you and this in these pentacles, this earth energy, this is you, Aries. You contemplating. Do you want to do it the right way? <laughs> the mature way, the practical way. Or do you just want to do it how you want to do it? But Aries, something is telling you to stop and wait and think about how you gonna do this. How, how you going to leave this establishment, this home, get a new home, this apartment, get another apartment, leave one job, go to another job, leave this marriage, whatever this four wants is to you, Aries, in this scenario. You really don't care. And this two of pentacles in reverse, this is letting me know you got it in your brain. You got the passion. You want to you wanna do it. You want to change. You want to do something. Whether it's leaving the establishment. Or just going out of town, going on vacation, whatever that four wands is. You want to do it, and you kind of really don't care how you do it. <clears throat> but, you stopping and pausing, you're going to stop and try to do it the right way. And the seven of pentacles right here. Because seven of pentacles is someone who stops and pauses. And they think about the seven, these seven pentacles up here. Because you could have invested in some type of way in this four of wands right here. You could have made some investments. So in the seven of pentacles, someone is stopping and pausing and contemplating. And they're going over the pros and cons in their head. But Aries, as you go over the pros and cons in your head, the should I, should I, shouldn't I, should I keep going, should I leave, should I stay? That's the seven of pentacles. Is it going to work out? Should I give it another try? Should I leave, should I stay? This is the seven of pentacles. But Aries, because you fire, because you fire, you that fire energy, that fire element, you uneasy about something. It's like you want to wait and contemplate and think everything do, through but it's a side of you that don't want to do it you want to get in that full energy and just jump you inching you really you itching you really don't want to be practical about it you don't want to do this you don't is i'm getting you you don't want to be in seven of pentacles and because you is stopping and thinking about it you being practical about it is making you unbalanced. Because I'm getting Aries. You want to be your major arcana. You want to get in your major arcana energy. And you just want you want to be the fool. You want to take that leap. And the fool take a leap. Whether he know the consequences or not. Whether he got all the information or not. The fool just going to jump. So I'm getting Aries that you want to make a move. Or either go out of town. Make a change. Do something. <clears throat> but. It's something here that's making you contemplate and wait and be practical about it and think about the pros and the cons. It's something here making you do that. And because you are waiting and you being practical about it, you're going to slow down a little bit. It's making you uneasy and unbalanced. Because it's like you going from your fire energy and, and you going into that earth element. You're being practical about it. And because you... You're trying to operate in the earth element. It's throwing you off a little bit. You're a little bit unbalanced. And I'm getting a little bit. You're uneasy about something. But I'm getting here that you just need to be patient. But you probably don't want to be patient. Clarify the two of pentacles in reverse. Yeah. Okay. Broken wishbone. Yep. Wish will not be granted. Yeah. So this wish will not be granted is um this two of pentacles in reverse. So I don't know if this is telling me, Aries, that the reason why you probably could be leaving this establishment 
whether it's a marriage or some type of work or home situation. It could be telling me the reason why you packing up and you leaving this establishment is because something didn't go your way. Your wish wasn't granted in this four wise. Excuse me. Excuse me. Or this can tell him, could be telling me when you got in your seven of pentacles energy and you started thinking about it and weighing the pros and cons. You got a little nervous and uneasy when you started thinking, what if my wish don't get granted? When you stop, when you stop, when you stopped and got in the seven of pentacles energy and you thought about it. And it made you uneasy to even think that it possibly won't happen the way you want it to happen. So it made you uneasy possibly to think about what can possibly happen if your wish is not granted. It's either one or both. So either you leaving this four wands because your wish wasn't granted, you going somewhere else, or when you stopped and contemplated, you weighed out the pros and cons, it made you uneasy and it took you for a loop when you started thinking about the consequences in the aftermath of the what ifs. What if your wish will not be granted? Is either one or the, or one or the other, or it could be both. But let me see. Clarify this four of wands. Clarify the four of wands. Yeah, dark man. Dealings or relationship with a man with dark complexion or hair. Yeah. So this could be a marriage. Yep. This could be a marriage. This four of wands. Because it's a dealings or relationship with a man with dark complexion or hair. So if you're a feminine energy watching this, this four of wands could be a relationship you had with a dark man. Dealing with a man would have had dark complexion and hair. Or if this is a work situation, your boss could have been this dark man. But in this four of wands, whether it's home, Love or work. In this four wands, Aries, whether you male or female, you was dealing with this dark man, someone who had dark complexion or hair. And I don't know, Aries, if this is telling me that you're two of pentacles in reverse, uneasy, not thinking everything through, you, you know, you're a little unorganized, Maybe because your wish was not granted with this dark man in this four wands. So you leave it. Or I don't know if you and this dark man together could be the one y'all could be going. Y'all could be going together out of town somewhere, going to visit friends and family. Or y'all want to make some type of change or some type of move and you involved with this dark man. And you're contemplating. Whether or not your wish is going to be granted, I don't know. But I'm going to go ahead up to the top because we got 18 minutes. And the top might tell me more about the bottom. But I'm going to read it. This is y'all the card, Sweat Lodge. This is y'all um, Oracle from the, from the Native Spirit deck. And I'm going to read it. I'm going to try to hurry up. Cleanse yourself, body, mind, and soul. Purify, clutter, clear. Let go of objects and relationships that no longer serve you. Purify your body. Go within. Meditate. Talk to the creator. Give thanks. Sweat lodges are small dome structures covered with skins, blankets, or mud in which very hot stones are placed in the center. Water is poured over the, so the stones so that hot steam arises from the rocks. Thus, the sweat lodge with its hot steam is used for purification ceremonies as well as a place to commune with the divine this card chose you to tell you that it's time to clear out the clutter in your life sometimes clutter can be things in your closet that you don't love or use but sometimes clutter can be outmoded relationships or habits that no longer serve you 
The clearer your mind in outer space becomes, the easier it will be to hear the sweet messages from your soul. Yep. So, I'm getting, Aries, you on the right track. Because basically, you doing what this card said. Um, let go of objects and relationships that no longer serve you. And Aries, when I seen this four of wands and that two of pentacles in reverse, <laughs> I laugh. Because it's like, Aries, you leaving. You letting go. You leaving this four of wands right here. That you had dealings or relationship with this man with this dark complexion right here. Aries, you leaving. You is leaving, whether this is in career, romance, or just your housing situation. You're leaving this four wands, and you just picking up, and you going somewhere else. Yeah, because it say, let go of objects and relationships that no longer serve you, and you leaving. This card chose you to tell you that it's time to clear out the clutter in your life. Mm -hmm. And that's what you're doing. Them people packing up, that family, they done packed up, got them bags, they got their kids, and they leaving this establishment, and they going on. Mm-hmm. But, I think, this two of pentacles in reverse down here, I think that, Aries, this could be you. This could be you, and it's two of pentacles in reverse. And I think, you being obedient, your actions is aligning with the divine, with the universe, with the sweat lodge. Because you is decluttering. You're decluttering. You're getting rid of people, places, of things. And since you in that full energy, you're going to take that leap of faith. You're probably uneasy about what if, I think this is saying what if your wish is not granted. I think you contemplating over in your mind. As you take this leap of faith and you, you know, you jump and you take this leap of faith to leave this four wands behind and start possibly anew, you probably uneasy about the fact that it may or may not work out, but I believe it will work out because this is what spirit is telling you in this card to do it, to declutter. If this is not you, Aries, and this two of pentacles in reverse, like I said, you could be involved in some type of way. With an earth sign. And when this earth sign figure out or realize you're leaving. It's going to make this earth sign uneasy. They're going to be two of pentacles in reverse. They're going to be, it's, they're going to be uneasy. Like nervous. Um, bothered. Things like that. And this earth sign. Possibly this dark man is the earth sign. And this person is going to be uneasy. And become unorganized. Because their wish about you and with you did not come true, Aries. This either one or the other or both. But I'm going to go back up here to the top. Um, what clarified that sweat lodge was this queen of wands. This queen of wands. Now, this Aries, this fire energy, this queen of wands usually is um Leo. But this still fire. Aries, this still your card. It could be any earth sign. A Leo, Sagittarius. What else? Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. Yeah, it's still fire. So this is you, Aries. You aligning with spirit. You decluttering. You leaving. You four wands right here. You leaving this four wands right here behind. Whether you going on a vacation or you leaving something permanently. And you took passionate action. You took that action and you packed your car up. You planned that trip, whatever this four wands is. But you leaving something behind. And you took that passionate action to do what you had to do. Now, this queen of wands right here and this four wands down here, that's five wands. So, in the midst of your decision making, there was some type of conflict and competition. Now, if this is not conflict and competition, um, Aries, you having a little confrontation with somebody else. This is you having your own internal conflict about taking this leap of faith, possibly. But either way, it's five wands out here. And that's conflict and competition or inner conflict. What clarified the Queen of Wands was this Page of Swords. This Page of Swords is 
someone who spies. This page of swords will spy on you. This page of swords will stalk you. So, Aries, I don't know if this dark man right here, somebody you was dealing with with dark hair and dark complexion, they spying on you, stalking you a little bit. Or this page of swords is immature, unnecessary communication. So, I don't know if this dark man could have got with. I don't know if you leaving with this dark man or you leaving this dark man behind. But if you leaving this dark man behind, this is this dark man and this um, page of swords energy. And if he is not spying on you or stalking you in some type of way, what he going to do, he might call you and start an argument. Say some real nasty, cruel things to you. That's what the page of swords do. Unnecessary, immature communication. So this dark man, and if you not leaving this dark man and you possibly could be leaving with this dark man, it could be a third party. That's either way, this is spying and this is somebody with some immature, unnecessary communication. I'm going to clarify. Clarify the knave of swords. That's too much. See? Clarify the knave of swords. Mm, yeah. So, yeah. So, it's a lot going on because a lot of cards came out, but I'm not going to go through all that. But this dolphin came out for that knave of swords, the page of swords. And it says, financial gain usually coming from something you did in the past. So, what I'm getting from this Aries, this four wands down here could possibly be a work situation. And you could be getting ready to change jobs. And this is like this dark man is your boss. This is dark man could be your boss. And he telling you, okay, Aries, I just found out you leaving. You got another job. Since you want to leave, you ain't getting your last paycheck. Or I'm going to rearrange your pay stub, your paycheck. You not getting the amount you thought you was going to get because the way you left. That's what this, because this page of swords right here is speaking unnecessary and immature communication. So this page of swords is communicating about some money. And it's a financial gain usually coming from something you did in the past. So if this is work areas and you changing jobs, somebody, a boss or somebody, a superior, somebody going to call you talking some mess about your, um, your last uh paychecks from that job that you leaving leaving that's what that is mm -hmm. if this is in love i don't know what this financial i don't know if this person down here this lover is upset because something about some money i don't know if you told him you was gonna give him some money and next thing he know you leaving and you he not getting the money he realized you not gonna give him the money because it's like this person is speaking immaturely and unnecessary about your money. Some type of money this person is talking junk about to you. Because mm -hmm. this person on your heels, they on it. And it's about some money, but I'm getting the money is your money, Aries. Okay, I'm going to try to hurry up because my phone is about to die. I can't believe I just looked at that. So, when I asked for more information about the sweat lodge, this nine of swords came out. So, this is somebody that's really stressed out. This is air energy. Aries, this can be you, but I don't think it's you. This is this, whoever this page of swords is right here, this person probably coming out their mouth talking sideways to you about your money. This is this person, this nine of swords. This is stress. Somebody stressed out, guilty conscience. Let up late at night. Can't sleep, can't think, can't eat. Could be this dark man right here. I don't know. But what clarified that nine of swords was this king of cups. Now, this king of cups is a water sign. Pisces, Tor Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. So, Aries, you could be dealing with a Pisces, a Cancer, or a Scorpio. And what this King of Cups want to tell you, 